Oh, my dear friend. I just had a meditation which makes me a kind of coming home, a feeling of coming home. So my talk topic will be today coming home. Everybody knows that our home is a place where we can rest, we can take a break, a comfortable place that can rest our body, letting go some social roles. letting go some disturbance outside. A kind of feeling good, rest, calm, peace, also love. Generally speaking, everybody likes to going home or com coming home after days of work, after several days of travel outside, on business trip or vacation, home is like physical and mental anchor. like a sailing boat after months of sail sailing it has to be stopped or rested anchored in the harbor so home is our harbor In this context, in the same way, we could find our spiritual home. A place that you feel so comfortable, peace, love, connected to everything, connected to every sages, your beloved one. to wisdom, compassion, strength, and so on. So this ultimate home is the ulti ult ultimate purpose that we should uh, find in this life. If I say the whole life is a journey, it's like every year you go to vacation on somewhere, on beach or camping. So you took a journey or travel from your home, spent days traveling or camping or whatever, enjoying yourself, and after one week you're coming home. So in, the same, in this analogy, our whole life is a journey. We spent nearly hundred years, so hundred years of this journey. We caught life, and ultimately, we should find this ultimate home. Because if we cannot find this ultimate home in this one life, then we are not anchored. We are not, we, we are like a ungrounded, unrooted white flower.
that drifting all the time cannot if we cannot find this ultimate home. Our whole life is a journey and after this journey or in the in this journey the purpose of this journey is to find this ultimate home. Where is this ultimate home? It's right in your heart. You see, we spent the whole life starting from baby, learning, studying, playing, educating, working, having a family, having a baby. getting old we spend so much time and energy trying to achieve something trying to fulfill our dreams and desires We're always looking out. To find a purpose of life. Like once you have done this, once we have done that. You feel, we will feel better. Most, most of people are doing like this. Once I have a house, once I have got my you know, Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Once I had a family, once I had a better job, once I've run my own business, I will be happier. I will be more complete. Is that so? We're always chasing something that um, is impermanent like a dog chasing his tail and never stopping even once a while we fulfilled our dreams and desires we have next des dreams and desires which took which will take us a couple of years to fulfill again we never seem to Sit quiet and looking inwardly. The ultimate home is right here at our hearts. At our heart. The place we are looking for is the place we are looking from. What we are seeking for is what is look is seeking. I repeat, what we are seeking for is what is seeking or what is looking. The ultimate home is right at this moment, right now, in your heart. If we can let go all the desires and dreams just for a couple of minutes, you see. Yesterday I had this session. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. Again, before humanization, before civilization, sorry, before humanity, everything is done already. The purpose of 
humanity is to realize that as human being we have such capability to understand the purpose of Mother Universe. She has done everything for us and we are one product of it. Mother Universe has conquered or created such a beautiful world, universe, plants, animals, oceans, stars, galaxies. She has c accomplished such a great thing for us. Also, all these things is made a foundation for us to survive, to evolve, and to recognize that behind all the phenomena, there is a completeness, there is oneness, there is absoluteness. There is perfectness. Or everything is already perfect in front of us, inside of us. So the, the purpose of life, or ultimate home, is to recognize we are already complete and perfect. To escape from the limited egoic mind, like a bird in cage. To be freed, a bird that can be freed from the cage, to the unlimited sky, to fly in the boundless sky. That's And this boundless sky, space, or calm and peace is already in our s heart. All sages teaching Jesus, Buddhas, Allah's teaching is point, pointing to this ultimate home to show us from their experience, from their realization. You are already perfect, complete, ultimate, We are all complete, perfect, ultimate already. If you don't identify yourself at this body, at this egoic mind, you see Mother Universe has spent 13.8 billion years of evolution to create you, me, her, him, and everything else. If you work on something for one year, two years, five years, continuously, non-stopping, that thing must be very important, right? Same thing is Mother Universe. She took, she took 13.8 billion years to create you, to give birth to you and me and everything else, animals. Why? Is there any meaning or purpose of behind this creation, the purpose of life, purpose of life is just to have a good job, 
have a happy family, have some vacation every year to have good relationship. I'm not denying all these beautiful things in life, but if that's all you need, if that's all, we think that is the purpose of this ultimate life, or this is the ultimate purpose of this life, then we're surely, we sure, for sure, underestimate designer's purpose, the universal mom. We underestimate it very much. This ultimate home is not far away from you. Everybody has it. So, once everybody has this ultimate home, it's universal. Universal means it's not yours, his or hers or mine or theirs. It's universal. There's no identity. Now we are living in this ultimate home. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel happy? Do you feel blissful? Grateful? Do you? If you do, congratulations, my friend. Then you are sitting. You consciously knowing that you are sitting in this ultimate home right now. This home without any windows, doors, roof without any limitation. It's a boundless, transparent, clear, open, infinite space. It's beyond space, actually, as far as the age of the universe, as small or as close. As close to your every cells of your body, it's infinitely big and also infinite, infinitely small. It's everywhere. My dear friends, meditate couple of minutes every day, try to lock the door of this ultimate home. And then you may find you open the door from inside and ultimately you find there's no door at all. It's very much open. Bye now. Stay at home. Thank you.